All right, now I have uh, something I found here. This is a, um, a how things proceed in history, going all the way back to the caveman days, right? It says, caveman discovers weed, caveman discovers fire. Now the Stone Age begins. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here's a guy. He guy falls in love with a very traditional and conservative girl. That means no sex before marriage, but he doesn't care. He loves her. After a year of dating her, he decides it's time to propose to her. So he heads to a uh, girl's father's house to ask for his blessing because that's what you do in conservative families. And he goes, hello, sir. I'm here to ask for your daughter's hand. Well, a bit skeptical and looking to see if he really does love her, the father asks, why is that? The guy lets out this kind of long, drawn-out sign and said, well, mine have gotten really tired. <laughs> this sounds like my husband. Yeah, I've been working yeah. since I met him. Actually, I heard from your husband, he said he switched all the labels on your spices. Yeah. He's not in trouble yet, but time is cumin. Up now, uh, just a couple announcements before I go on that is uh, remember this Thursday we're going to be doing match game uh, this Sunday over at uh, the big uh, educational conference VWBPE I will be hosting um, Hollywood Squares so if anyone wants to show up for that I don't know exactly when but we'll, they'll be sending out the announcements so I'll hope to see you later and as Gat Boy was just saying, uh, there, there's parents trying to figure out, you know, what we're going to do about school. And I've, I've decided that if it comes to parents homeschooling their kids, their kids might as well just go to a convent because have you met some of these parents? <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I mean, for crying out loud, these are the same people that won't buy Corona beer because they like the word Corona. Hey. <laughs> like, I feel really bad for these kids. These kids are basically screwed if today's parents are going to uh, educate them. But, but here's, here's, here's what I think is going to happen. There's going to be some 12-year-old somewhere that convinces his parent of the educational value of Fortnite. <laughs> That's going to be his education for a while because let's face it, folks, those of us that live and work in Second Life, we can find educational value in here as well. Oh, I've learned and, so much here. Yeah. And, and, and that's what scares me because you learn so much here, but it's all completely useless. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that uh, Einstein is probably looking down from somewhere going, I left and the whole world got stupid. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's face it, folks. I really worry about the state of things now. I mean, we got. The, I was talking to a friend of mine today that said that they have been. He lives in Dallas, and they have been told to shelter in place for the next month or so. But you know what's still open in Dallas? What? A, mm. a Chick fil A. Mm. Yay, <laughs> for Chick fil A. Like, apparently, Chick fil A is still. They got lines around the building. Oh, gosh. So, so if you don't have a virus, you don't have it by the end of the week. <laughs> I, what I wonder though is how much longer is this going to go before people start getting cabin fever? I mean, like, they're telling people to stay indoors.
and I'm thinking to myself, I, I heard Catboy talking earlier about having, having to take an entire week to clean his house. Ah. <laughs> here's, what, here's, here's what I want to know. If, if you tell all of these people that they can't leave their house, they can't do anything, we're all going to look like a bunch of horrors. I mean, can you imagine how much new content that show's gonna have? All these <laughs> trashed out houses and all these people just <laughs> looking in filth. I mean, yep. for crying out loud, it's it's basically the worst American holiday ever. <laughs> We're gonna have a bunch of drunk, overweight, uneducated idiots when this is all over. Well, so, it's more, it's more of the same. Yeah, it's more of the same, yeah. Well, here's, here's, here's what scares me, okay? People are talking about when they do go out that you can't find anything <coughs> to buy. Like, there's no toilet paper, there's yep. no essentials, you can't get meds. And and something that made me laugh is a friend of mine in the UK posted on Facebook this exact same thing that you can't find all the stuff that you need. And what he posted was you can't find the toilet paper, but there's shelves and shelves and shelves of booze that nobody is taking. <laughs> what he said was, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I wrap up here, I, I just have to, uh, to say, ladies and gentlemen, I've heard several times this week that when people hang up the phone or they're talking to somebody, they end the conversation with, stay healthy. No. Well, no. I'm going to do the opposite. Get sick so you can get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Oh, that's what they're saying. Good night, y'all. Get over it. Hey, Jamie. Yay.